Hello everybody and welcome to the final video in the ordering a pizza with Python series. Now in this video I am actually going to be using a modified version of the script that we've made because we're just going to add some stuff to it to order a pizza to my house and then I will show you guys that I actually get the pizza from using this software. Now obviously I have to blur out a lot of the information that we're going to be using because I can't show you guys, um, you know, like my postal code and my address and my credit card information and all of that, but you know, Try to believe me, I'm going to be showing you the clock when I order and when I receive so that you guys kind of know that I'm doing this within the same time frame. And anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do is figure out how we actually place an order. So right now we've got up to the point where we collect credit card information and we, you know, make the order and find the store, but we don't actually know how to place it. So to place it's pretty easy. We're just going to copy this code, just do order dot place card and then my local dominoes dot place order and then the order and the card. So I'm going to go into my script here. F11. I just want to remind everyone that what I've done here is change customer to be console input dot get new customer. That's going to allow the uh, what is it going to be? The console will print out like some prompts for people to insert their information as if they were a new customer. So you don't just have to hard code it into here. It can be a different customer every time or a different address or whatever you want. Now we have the menu. We show all of this stuff. So my local dominoes dot get menu print my local dominoes. I'm just going to add one thing up here print um, closest store colon like that. And I'll do a backslash n beforehand just so it goes down one line. It will show this store. And then what I'm going to do is say print. Would you like to select this store? If they say no, we'll just exit the program. Um, otherwise, we'll continue. So we'll say uh, input or we'll say like ans equals input. Would you like to order from this store question mark and we'll just put some brackets and say y n and then what we'll do is we'll say if they don't say why or they don't say yes um, then we will simply quit the program so we'll say if ans not in and this will be yes and y and we'll just throw this to dot lower then just print like goodbye or something goodbye uh, oops like that exclamation point and then we'll just quit like that now otherwise then we'll show the menu which we're going to do here and then we'll go through and we'll do the rest of it now what i'm going to do here at the end is before i add in this code so order dot place and my local dominoes uh, dot place order i'm actually going to ask the user which i've actually already typed out here i forgot that i put that there uh if they're going to be paying cash or credit because there is actually an option to pay with uh with cash when you order this. So we're just going to ask them if they want cash or credit. If they say cash, then we will, won't bother getting their credit card. Um, otherwise, we will actually ask for it. So what I'm going to say is uh, if payment and notice again, like I typed this in and we'll just say dot lower equals equals or actually we'll say if it's in and we'll give them two options. They can type card or credit card. So if it's in that, we'll ask them for their credit card. Oops. Just by going like that. Otherwise, what we'll say is card equals false. Now you'll see why I'm doing this in a second, but uh, that's all we need. So then after this, what we'll do is we'll ask one last prompt. We'll say, do you want to place this order? Like this is final. If you place this order, you're going to be paying for it. And then if they say yes, we'll place it. Otherwise, we won't. So we'll say ANS equals input. Would you like to place this order? Question mark. We can say why no. And we'll say if ans dot lower in y or yes, then what we'll do is place the order like that. So we'll say actually at the end of this, we'll say print order placed. Else we will say print goodbye. Okay, so that's all we need for that. Now I just want to show you one thing. So if we go to order here. Notice that the reason I was able to say card equals false rather than actually get a credit card information is because inside order, if we pass card equals false, then what that actually means is we're going to pay with cash. So what this does is a self dot pay with and the card that we pass when we place the order calls this method where it checks if the card is false. If the card is false, it says the payment method is cash, which means that we will just pay cash when it comes to the door. So that's an option as well. Or we can type in the credit card. Now, last thing. Note that here, the postal code is transforming uh, whatever we type in into a zip code. Now, this isn't going to work if we're ordering from Canada or someone 
or somewhere that doesn't have like integer values. So I don't know if this is making any sense, but essentially my postal code could look something like this, right? Like, like that, like it could be number. I think it's like numbers, letters, numbers. I don't know, like X, like it could be something like that, um, where it can have letters in it. So if I try to convert this into an int, that's not going to work. So we have two options. We can just type in an invalid zip code, which is like type in zero, 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 or I think we might be able to remove this and just send the actual raw data of whatever that zip code is that we typed in rather than turning it into an int. I think that should be okay to do this. This might not work. If you're in the States, I'd recommend you just leave it as int zip. But for me, since I'm in Canada, I'm going to change it to this so that my postal code will actually work if I decide to use my credit card. So that's just something to note. If you're actually going to be doing this, look inside of this pay with inside of the order.py file. And you might need to mess with this if to change the postal code so that it fits what country you're in. There's a lot of stuff that's like, country specific that has been programmed in this API. And again, another reason why we're learning it because we kind of understand, you know, how there could be issues with it and all of that. Okay. So now that we've done that, I think it's actually time to place the order. So I'm going to open up my command prompt, type in some of my personal information. I'll show you what I order and I'll show you the time. And then I'll show you when I actually receive the pizza. We'll be right back. Okay. So I've now made my order. So all I'm getting is just a 10 inch hand toss Canadian pizza. To be quite honest, I have no idea what's on that, but we're just going to go with it. Like I'll be fine with whatever pizza it is. Okay. So now I'm actually um, going to insert my credit card information. Oh, what is this? So it's saying, will you pay cash or credit? So I'm actually going to decide to pay cash. So that way you guys can watch me actually like place this order and see if this works. So let's go cash. Uh, would you like to place this order? Yes. Let's wait. And we get an issue. Okay. So let's see what this problem is. Okay, so I have an issue. I have an idea that this has to do with the country that's inside of some of these uh, modules. So I'm going to have a look through here and see if I can change anything so that we can order, make sure that's ordering from Canada. We don't have any issues like that, but I'll be back in a second once I check through that. Okay, so I've changed this here where it says country inside of order.py to say CA for Canada. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to hop back in the command prompt and give it a shot. If this doesn't work, uh, that's going to be unfortunate because I won't really know how to fix this. Although I'm assuming this probably just has to do something with the fact that we had the wrong URL because this said United States before it didn't say Canada. So something to keep in mind if you're ordering from different countries or different continents or whatever, you'll have to change the actual area code here. And to be honest with you, I don't know if Domino's is in like india per se like i don't know where this chain exists i'm not sure if it's just north american so i do apologize if you've kind of been following this and thought you could order from domino's i i don't know where the chain exists so anyways let's give it a shot and then i'll be right back okay so i'm going to type cash we've done this again let's see would you like to place yes error or are we going to place successfully order placed for receipt okay so that actually i think that actually worked so it said that this order was placed. This is my last name, as you guys have seen. I might blur it out. It will depend on the video, but it's fine. I think you guys know my last name anyway, so that's okay. Um, so we did get an error. We got some, you know, threaded socket error, but it did say the order was placed. It did not, however, say order placed like this. When I tried to place it at my local Domino's dot place order, that's when we got the issue. But I don't know where it prints order placed for whatever the name was. So I'm going to look around and see if I can find that. Um, and then we'll see if this actually happened. I'm going to call the store and see if this actually went through or not. Okay. So I have a feeling that I need to change some more of these countries from all these files. So I'm going to continue to change these all to CA and then we're going to have a look and see if this is going to fix things because I have a feeling that we're just getting the issue with the, uh, with the country. I'm pretty certain that's what it is because this should work. Like I've seen this used before. So for URLs to, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. So for the country here, I need to change this to be country Canada. So we're just going to say country Canada, which I think I have imported up here. Yes, I do. So that's what I'm going to do that. Okay. So that's exactly what it is. So I just need to change that to be Canada in this file. So this is urls.py. I've changed this to be Canada. I've changed it inside of track.py as well to be CA. I mean, it doesn't matter if you use country Canada or, or CA, that's fine. Um, and now everything I think in here is Canada, whereas before it was all defaulted at us. So even this one, okay, begin custom order. So this one needs to be country Canada as well. So we'll put CA and I'm just going to go through here and change these. Now there's obviously a much better way to do this. I can like, there probably is a way to set it from here, but just for the sake of this right now, like this is kind of the way I'm fixing it. Um, but I mean, yeah, you guys can maybe tell me if you think there was a better way that I should have gone about doing that. Okay. So we've done CA done countries passed in here. Okay. Country, Canada, Canada. 
um, order, all right, all of this stuff. So I think we're good. I'm gonna try it one more time, and then again, we'll be back. Hi, can you check if an order went through for me that I placed online? Okay. Uh, what was your order number? Uh, well, I don't know the order number, but can I can I give you a name? Uh, yeah, a name or an address. Whatever. Okay. Uh, let's do. Yeah, it's uh, gonna be made right now. It just popped up on the screen. Okay, so that's actually that went through. The reason I'm asking because I'm, I did this from like I wrote some code to order the pizza, so I was like, yeah. I wanted to see if it actually worked or not. Okay, so it's coming. It's on the way. Yeah, it's gonna be on the way. She's making it right now, and so we'll give it about like 20, 25 minutes. It should be there. Okay, awesome. Um, thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a nice day. All right, bye. Okay, so I'll see if I can include some of that in the video there. But this actually worked. So I just called the store to confirm if my order has been placed or not, and it has. So I'm gonna, I don't wanna do this again because I don't wanna order something else. But I'm assuming now we won't get that issue afterwards because um, I fixed the country. So I think what that was actually supposed to be giving me, that other stuff where we got the error there, was gonna tell me the tracking number for my order. Now, obviously I don't have that tracking number, so I'm not sh I'm not sure how much I'm gonna include in the video, but I did call the store, they said it's coming. So I'll be back when this pizza arrives to film a little clip and show you guys that this actually did work. All right, so we're back in. We have a Domino's pizza. Let's refresh the clock. It's 12.44 PM, so pretty much when he told me it was gonna come by. And I believe that cost me $21, as opposed to what the total was on there, like 14 plus tax, plus delivery, plus all of that, so that makes sense. And to show you guys that I'm not lying, actual pizza that was ordered using this program. So I think that that is pretty freaking cool that that actually works, that I can do that. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for this series. The goal has been accomplished. Order a pizza with Python, it has happened. This pizza has mushrooms, bacon, what else does it have on it? Uh, pepperoni and some other ingredient on it and yeah so anyways that has been the series if you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe to the channel and let me know if you're ordering any pizzas using this program